Welcome to the printing show. My name is Dorfi Kühne. Very often I get mail and after the last episode I got a ton of mail from people asking questions about my posters. So let's see. For example this one is from Grafisch Werkzentrum Amsterdam. Oh, hi Corinne. Dear Dorfi, how did you do that weird reverse type on the mirror maze poster? Well Corinne, I can show you. On this poster I printed front and back at the same time, in the exact same position. And for this I had to modify the printing press and this is what we're going to start off with. So first I'm going to replace the cylinder packing and I'm going to add an offset rubber blanket instead. So this is my offset rubber blanket on the cylinder right now. What I need to do right now is to modify the press itself so it doesn't go into the trip mode. It stays on print all the time. So on this press the release of impression is that little wedge here and I just need to remove that one to make sure the impression is not released anymore. It might be different on another press but basically you can modify this on any machine. Well, now we just need a form. All right, there we go. So what we do now is I print on the cylinder packing, which now is an offset rubber blanket. And here you see the perfect print on the rubber blanket. And because I modified the press, it always prints now. So there's no tripping between the prints. So let's see. So here we have our print, perfectly sharp on the front, perfectly sharp and reversed on the back, exact in the same position. And that's how I've made this poster. I printed 500 of these posters and this technique is totally fine for that. You don't have to modify the print trip mechanism on the press. It just makes it much faster if you want to print a large edition. So you guys in Amsterdam, try this. Thanks for watching. That's it for today. See the rest of my posters in my book, True Print. And if you've got any more questions, <laughs>